Hi, everybody. Welcome, welcome. I'm so excited. This is our second, that's four, second. <laughs> this is our second live. Um, we are doing this weekly. Um, if you did not see last week's live, I am Brittany and I am the owner of BizStorming as well as a business advisor for my core. And Cheryl, the lovely, wonderful Cheryl, is the... Um, co-founder is a co-founder of MyCor, um, as well as a um, senior advisor, uh, business advisor, which is really exciting. She's my senior and she brought me onto the team and I'm super excited. Um, Cheryl, we right before we went live, you were telling me about our topic. I would love for you to introduce it. Yeah, we just left an all hands meeting. We do it every Wednesday right before this call. So it really helps us come out fresh, like just hearing from our founder and CEO and just what all the new stuff is for the week. So we really talked this week about what we all felt as a team about um, what business advisory means. And it was really exciting hearing all the answers. I mean, to me, business advisory is being able to provide the small businesses in the U.S. that we serve with a Sherpa, a guide somebody that they can talk to about anything they need in their business, somebody that has the access to bring them anything from payroll to benefits to HR to bookkeeping to accounting to invoicing, time tracking, um, just all of it. It's nice to have that one point of contact and person to go and, um, you know, run anything by and ask what they think and where they should go to find it. And it was cool to hear from our chief experience officer uh, that said, people have even said to them, they'd pay for advisory. And with my core, you don't, you know, it just comes as part with part of our services, with part of our offerings and our technology. So it's pretty cool. I'm very proud of what we've set up over the last seven and a half years. Yeah, and I love the fact that um, when we talked about advisory, right, he asked, how do you spell advice? And then how do you spell advise? And there's an S and a C, right? That's the difference is an S and a C. Um, but one of the things that he was asking everybody was, what do you think advisory is? Yeah. And everybody had a different answer. Right. Mm -hmm. There's yeah. people who are like, well, I give you all the answers. <laughs> there's the there's the I'm just going to give you the answers. There's the take of what do you need? Listening, taking it in, having that conversation. Um, and I love that on the my core team, a lot of people are the listen and learn. Right. Don't speak and tell people, well, you need this. It's what is it that you have? Um, some people are, what is it that you need so that I can fill that need? Um, I personally am a, let me hear about your personal, your business, and all of your ducks that are not in a row, right? Um, so then we can really hone in on how do we get you the best business-ness that you need. Right. Um, I love that. Yeah, me too. It's been neat to see now we're at 152 clients and to see all their just uniqueness. Every business, every owner, every person in the world is different and how they run their business is going to be different. So it's exciting to know that we're able to integrate in with the company and fill their specific need, not on a cookie cutter type of basis but really get to know them. And then we become the constant, right? So whether they have a huge support HR department or whether they're solopreneurs and just really want extra time and money, we're able to custom make something specific for them and grow and go with them for all their future plans. So uh, yeah, it's exciting. Right. And for the business advisory of it all, we really work on, what is it that you're looking at? Um, because what tends to happen a lot of times is when you're in the space of, okay, you know, where's your business and where are you at? We also are, um, Nathan brought up, somebody told him, well, I just signed up with ADP. Okay. Well, you're not in a full, you're not in a locked in contract with ADP. Right. You are able to say, Hey, I found something that's better and our people, our, um, Laura, Laura and her team, um, 
the advice, you know, the actual people advisors on our, on our company, um, they are able to just go in, grab all of your stuff and move it to a better platform. Right. Um, we have two platforms, one that is just local to the US, one that is uh, worldwide. Um, so Nathan, I love the fact that he goes out and he talks to the businesses and he talks to the different service providers yeah. to find what is best, which helps us be the best advisory company right. um, because we can offer those options. Yeah, and bring them together. You know, normally a small business owner would be responsible to go find a payroll company, a benefits company, an HR company. They have their bookkeeper over here, an accountant they see twice a year, unless they've got questions. Um, but none of them thought to work together, right? Just like the cross and the My Core Shield, we take these individual silos and fragmentations and pull them together in technology, having it on all one platform, as well as people. Um, through that people advisory that we've been talking about. And um, it's just, it's really exciting because it, it gives that business owner the time and energy back to do what they got into business for in the first place, right? They got into business to cut hair or work on cars. And, and generally speaking, especially if they're in that under 10 employee space, they're actually working all day. <laughs> like they don't have time to go learn these gnarly industries that we've been able to pull together and bring together and um, keep them in business past the statistics of five, you know, 50% of businesses shut down in five years. So pretty cool. Yeah, exactly. I love that. Um, so one of the things about it, right. And about today's meeting, because that's why we do this right after the meeting. Um, we do this right after the meeting because we love talking about what we hear. Um, Nathan is amazing at giving us great advice and really just helping my core move along as a business and as individuals um, by us being able to talk. And when you mentioned 52 clients, that was as of 10 minutes ago, there yeah. was a contract signed in the meeting. Yeah. And because everybody is so up to date with what we're doing, there were three people that had their hands raised to tell us about the contract. Um, and it was awesome. Um, so I love that about it. But what I really kind of, when we're looking at the advisory and we're looking at the space, one thing that Nathan had said today was he was talking about following his dollar. Yeah. If you are a business owner and you go to a big brand store, when you hand your dollar over, you can't have a conversation of, what am I, what are you going to do with my dollar? Whereas if you go to a local store with somebody who makes hand knit and clothes and you're purchasing that as a gift, or you go to a local candle shop, when you hand over that dollar, it's somebody who probably makes some decisions in the business. Um, and so the best kind of advisory is to be present with your dollar. Um, I loved that advice today. You know, you can talk about this is what I do. What do you do? Right. Um, so that was a huge piece of advice that I heard today that was exceptional. Yeah, I mean, it's great for business owners to know where do you go solicit? Where are the things that you need in your life? And then those clients and those products and those, those um, you know, people you go see to get what you need for you and your family are great people for you to bring value to in what you do. So, um, and if you can keep it small, keep it to the small businesses of the U S and not go to the great big stores, then you're going to have an opportunity organically to come from a place of, of uh, contribution and see what you can do to help them grow and help their business succeed. Right. You have a favorite restaurant. I have favorite restaurants. You go to them all the time, especially if you find a server or somebody you love. You start ending up calling them by their name like, hey, honey, you want to go to Emma's tonight? OK, it's not Emma's. It's the it's the Amish food restaurant. And Emma happens to be one of the women that work there. And I love her. So we start calling it Emma's because every time we go, we request to sit with Emma. So it's it, it, it's that relationship, right? We're in the relationship business. People do business with people they like, know, and trust. Companies they like, know, and trust. But 
when you find your person and you know how important in your personal life having your person is, well, then that's just when your business grows and you have awesome success and great days because you build on that relationship. I love that. I want to go to Emma's when I come visit next time. All right. <laughs> So um, speaking of advisory, and we've talked about the business part, I want to talk about the wellness side, yeah. um, because that's part of this whole thing. So if you could tell me on the wellness side, when we're looking at advisory, um, we use Amore, uh, Amore is our wellness kind of uh, definite happy juice product that we utilize and that we like to push. So can you um, kind of explain how using Amore, and I had mentioned Nathan really goes out and finds what is the best of the best, right? right? So as an advisory, as somebody who's helping with wellness and everything, how does that fit into this whole circle? I think, first of all, you have to say this doesn't even make sense, right? Why are we talking about wellness when we're talking about business? Well, first of all, you need to know in my core that in um, that our mission is to be uh, the world's most people centric company. So when you're thinking in business about your employees, about your vendors, about your contractors, about people you do life that help support you in, in bringing to market what you do then you have to care about your people, right? This world is about people. There's nothing in the world more important than people. People are paramount. And you have to care about your people, not just Monday through Friday, nine to five. But we really wanted, um, you know, my course started years ago as a benefit company. And we wanted not just to shield people up, bring them benefits, bring, a, you know, a business benefits for if you get in an accident or if you get sick, but actually what are we going to do to keep people healthy, to keep people feeling their best, right? To keep people in work, not calling out slick. <laughs> um, we want people to be happy. And what is wellness? It's, it's just everything. Wellness includes mental wellness, physical wellness, spiritual wellness, emotional wellness, and financial wellness. It's all those things. And we were seeing it as a need in our culture and our family to figure something out, to bring those things to life, to help those that work in my court. We started at home. And yes, Nathan vetted a product called Amari in French. It's French. And it means to love. Love is Amari. And um, it's really exciting to see how... If the science recently in the last five, six years has realized that a lot of our mental wealth, our mental problems come from gut problems, right? We've got problems in our gut because of the things we breathe and the food we eat. And then it tells us, oh, we've got anxiety. We've got depression. Maybe we have ADHD. We just don't focus. We're, we're all over the place. We can't deal with problems and stress is out of this world. Well, what we found and studied and vetted is that this company, Amari's flagship product, Happy Juice, which is a silly little juice. Next week, I'm actually going to make it for you online um, while we have this meeting. But I love Happy Juice. I drink it every single week, every day. I drink one a day. It's a juice. It's not a shake. Thank God. I hate shakes. So tired of all the sorry shake companies, but not my thing. But this juice is good, tastes so good. And you just drink one a day and it's going to help you with motivation and mood and metabolism. I've lost 10 pounds in six weeks since I've been on um, the happy juice. I sleep so deep, sleep so deep. I woke up after eight this morning, not on purpose, but I was like, geez, I slept good. Um, I, I just feel better. And then this is embarrassing, but since we're family and friends, I will share it with you. Um, you know, I'm 52 years old and going through the throes of menopause, which is ugh, terrible. But for the first time in 10 years on Sunday afternoon, I crawled for the first time. Now you might say that's stupid. <laughs> yeah, maybe to some people it is, but I was doing laundry on the floor in my bedroom and something was out of reach. And I literally made two moves with my knees and then realized I had done that because of the inflammation that has been growing in my body for years and years and years and being overweight and gaining 50 pounds through menopause. Oh, it's been terrible. And I never knew what I was going to do to how you even solve that. I'm not sick, but I'm certainly not well. 
can't go for a walk. It hurts to take 10 steps. And when I crawled, I literally called my family in to watch me crawl across the room. Woo, it's emotional. I could cry about it. But that's what my core wants to do. We want to figure out things that the world needs to help themselves and create this link between businesses and the people the businesses are made of above and serve and to keep everybody well, feeling good, being happy and inspired of working with the people they do and doing life and 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 business with. So I'm really excited about this craziness that we've added to this wellness. Um, and I'm super excited to see how it's been so amazing in our business. I love that. Thank you so much, Cheryl. So we are coming to the end of our 15 minutes. Um, I love that my core really focuses on how can we give the best advice? How can we help businesses where they need to be? Uh, my core is accounting, bookkeeping, payroll, benefits, HR. Um, they will do so much. And we have the people advisors and the, and the people in place to really help push everybody forward wellness wise, business wise. Um, it's super exciting to just be a part of this. And I look forward to seeing everybody next week. Cheryl, what kind of wrap up would you like to give us? I just want to say thank you so much um, for joining us every week, learning a little bit about um, how we can help you in both business and wellness. And we look forward to bringing this to you every little week and growing and growing from it. So thank you so much. Bye, everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.